Justice has finally been served. On this day, September 6, 2023, Michael Nowak, a.k.a. Brother Polite, has been found guilty of violating his ex's 14-year-old daughter. And he's going to serve seven years and he will have 10 years of probation. In this video here, I'm just showing you the delusions. This man is throwing a party for himself saying that his charges are dropped. He also posted earlier on Instagram, his charges are dropped. He showed that he was in the gym, having a great time. He's living his best life. He even made a music video in reference to his case, which I'm going to play at the end. And no, I'm not promoting him. I just want you to see what narcissism looks like. You know, I speak about narcissism a lot. Um, he is one of them. He's actually one of the worst kind. One that will violate a child. There's full proof and he'll still deny it. He was the cause of someone being so depressed and stressed out to where he lost his life. This sentence isn't enough. It really isn't. But he'll probably pay behind those walls. God knows what will happen there. But let me go ahead and play this video for you. This is the Zoom court hearing, okay? So in this court hearing, you will hear him plead guilty. And directly after that, I will just play the impact statement of the mother of the victim. So you guys, go ahead, use the video as you will. It's easier to just have a straightforward audio of what happened. So if you need to use this as reference in your videos, you can go right ahead. I want to shout out to the woman who posted this on her Instagram. Thank you so very much. Her name is on the actual clip that you're about to listen to and um, go ahead and follow. This right here is Brother Polite's last couple of posts on Instagram, um, acting as if he's unbothered claiming that he is not guilty and charges are dropped. Oh, hell no. I had to take a second to read this. DNA don't lie, but people do. That's why all the sex charges are dropped. I cannot believe this. I, I'm, y'all, let's just get into the video. Please welcome to the testimony about the good business from the host with the not the truth. Oh. Okay. I'll need the old information. I want the defendant to be aware of what he was originally facing and what the new information was. This is the new information. I didn't give it to you. Oh, I have on my data. All right. Okay, can you tell me your full name and date of birth? Michael, you know, Michael Eugene Oak Jr., August 10th, 1983. All right, thank you. You were originally charged under case number F21-14438 with the following charges lewd and lascivious molestation on a child a second degree felony punishable by up to 15 years state prison count two was lewd and lascivious molestation on a child 12 to 16 years a second degree felony punishable by up to 15 years state prison lewd and lascivious conduct on a child under 16 by a defendant 18 or over a second degree felony punishable by up to 15 years state prison Count four, lewd and lascivious exhibition on a child under 16 years, defendant over 18, a second degree felony punishable by up to 15 years state prison and contributing to the delinquency dependency of a child, a first degree misdemeanor punishable by up to one year in jail. And then count six is interference with custody, a third degree felony punishable by up to five years state prison. The state has now filed an amended information today, charging you with the following. Aggravated child abuse, great bodily harm, a first degree felony, punishable by up to 30 years state prison. Count two is aggravated child abuse, great bodily harm, a first degree felony, punishable by up to 30 years state prison. And contributing to the delinquency uh, dependency of a child, a first degree misdemeanor, punishable by up to one year in jail. It is my understanding that you wish to plead guilty to this new information. You would be adjudicated guilty 
and your sentence has been um, memorized, memorialized in a four-page plea agreement. Did you have the opportunity to go over this plea agreement with your lawyer? Yes. Okay. I do need uh, the defendant to initial each page because there are not initials on these pages. All right. You know, act that you have gone over this plea agreement with your lawyer, and I want to go over it with you, not each and every aspect of it, but the major components of the plea agreement. But what I am going to ask is for the state to tell me the general terms of the plea agreement, and then we will um, go into the details on the contract. Go ahead. Your Honor, the plea agreement includes um, an adjudication, seven years of state prison, followed by 10 years of reporting probation. As a condition of probation, the defendant it's, will... you say 10 years probation. 10 years reporting probation. Okay. The defendant will um, complete the MDSO program. The defendant will not be allowed to have unsupervised contact with children. The defendant will have specific terms regarding um, uh, where he may work and the ability to wear a uniform. Um, there are um, additional um, terms of restitution, of which uh, 5,000 has been agreed to be paid up front within 24 hours, mailed to the defense or sorry to the victim, um, and additional restitution to be paid out on a monthly basis once he is out of custody. Um, and that monthly amount is highlighted in the written terms of the plea agreement. Additionally, there will be a stay away order from victim TS and her mother, which is also mentioned in the plea agreement. What is the total amount of the restitution? The total amount of restitution is $25,000. Okay. All right. Yes, Ron. Okay. All right. Okay, so Mr. Nowak, uh, the terms of the plea agreement are as what the prosecutor just stated, that you are going to be entering a plea of guilty to the two counts of aggravated child abuse and one count of deliberate, uh, contributing to the delinquency of a minor. You will be adjudicated guilty, which is a criminal conviction on your record. Do you also understand, sir, that by entering into this plea that it may subject you to involuntary civil commitment proceedings set forth in Florida Statutes 394.910 through 394.931. Do you understand everything that I've said thus far? Yeah. Okay. Now, I want to also advise you, sir, that you are going to be sentenced to seven years in state prison to be followed by 10 years of reporting probation. In addition to any of these special conditions of probation, you will also participate in and successfully complete a mentally disordered sex offender treatment program that you are also uh, not eligible. Okay, you, you may, according to the state, you may be eligible for early termination if all of the conditions of your probation have been completed, that you have had no violations of your probation, and that uh, you have not been arrested for any other criminal offense. Is that correct? Steve? And to, to clarify, the terms stated in, in five is there is no prohibition on early termination. However, there is a requirement that any modification to this agreement be agreed by the state and the court. Okay. All right, sir. Now, with respect to this plea agreement, I have on each page next to defendant's initials MN. Did you, in fact, affix those initials to each page? I did. And have you reviewed each and every component of this plea agreement uh, going through page one and page through page four? I have. Now it says on uh, page four, having read the above mentioned terms of this plea agreement and having been advised by my counsel, David Taras, I, Michael Noak, freely and voluntarily enter into this plea agreement and agree to abide by all terms and conditions of this plea agreement and agree that failure to comply with any terms or conditions within this agreement constitutes a violation of probation and subjects me to be sentenced to the statutory maximum penalties provided by law for the crimes for which I am now pleading guilty. And then it has a signature over the name Michael Noah. Is it that in fact your signature, sir? Yes, sir. All right. And I am now going to place my signature on this plea agreement in that I am now going to be ratifying this plea agreement as negotiated between the state of Florida and your attorney. 
Has anybody, including your lawyer, told you anything differently than what I just told you? No. Are you under the influence of any alcohol, drugs, or medication affecting your ability to understand me? No. Is anybody forcing, threatening, or coercing you to enter into this plea? No. Do you understand that if you're not a United States citizen, the entry of this plea will have negative immigration consequences, including deportation and removal? I understand. You had the right, sir, to have gone to a jury trial where your lawyer had the ability to compel the attendance of witnesses on your behalf, the ability to confront and cross-examine the witnesses and evidence against you. You had the right to testify just like any other witness or remain silent, and your silence could not have been used against you if you went to a jury trial. You also had the right to appeal any mistakes that I would have made during the course of the trial and the right to hold the state of Florida to the burden of proving these charges beyond a reasonable doubt. Do you understand, sir, that by entering into this plea, that you are giving up all of these rights and we will not have a jury trial? I do. Have you discussed this plea with your lawyer? Yes. Has he answered all of your questions? Absolutely. His mother, and, and she will be um, listed as victim Noak um, in the Zoom, and she is requesting, pursuant to Marcy's law, that her identity remain um, anonymous. So for that reason, she will not be stating her name, but she will be making a statement uh, regarding this. Where would it, where would it, it be? It should say victim, and then in parentheses, Noak. Nope, sorry. You see it when it um, says victim, nope. Okay, yes, one second. All right, you may unmute, ma'am. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. All right, so what I'd like you to do um, is, well, you don't want to give your name, so at this point, just go ahead and you can give us a, an impact statement. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Michael Nowak, this is the first time I have spoken publicly about what you've done to my daughter and I. I have gracefully remained silent the last two and a half years. Two and a half years of pain, shock, disbelief, PTSD, constant nightmares, and daily triggers. Trying to help my daughter heal when I'm not even healed myself. What you have done to my daughter, myself, and my entire family is inexcusable. You hurt us all. You made me believe that you were such a great man and you could do no wrong. You made me fully trust you and for that my daughter trusted you too. But the truth is, you're a monster, a demon. The very first time that I allowed you to be alone with my daughter, the very first time you couldn't even help yourself. You told me you was gonna be right back. We we're going downstairs. We we're gonna grab food and take vacation pictures. You told me that you wanted to have a one-on-one -on -one talk with her about loving and respecting me as a great mother that I was and am. And I actually believed you. I believed that you were gonna bring her right back. I thought you were going to have this trusting conversation with her that you promised me. Her and I both trusted you. For a grown man to violate a child who trusted him, you should be ashamed of yourself. You plotted on me and my little girl. The entire time you knew what you planned to do. Isolate, intoxicate, then violate my baby. Shame on you. I trusted you to bring her right back. You were supposed to bring her back the same way that you took her. Instead, you drugged her and took advantage of her. You sexually abused her. You forced alcohol down her throat. You then forced her to see things that no child should ever have to see. You forced her to feel things that no child should have to feel. You forced her to accept violence that no child should ever have to endure. You forced drugs in her that no human should ever even ingest. She's my child. My baby, how could you, how could you? You could have killed her. 
with all the drugs that were found in her system. Damn. And you thought your master plan was mapped out perfectly, huh? You thought I'd be dumb enough to believe you over my child. And you thought that money would blind me. You thought I was going to be so blinded that I wouldn't notice when you returned her with bruises all over her body and her mouth busted, uncontrollably shaking. Absolutely not. And although you executed your plan and you got what you wanted those couple of hours, you actually failed. Because look where you're at right now. You have created a lifetime of trauma for my daughter and I. Before you, we never knew evil existed. You brought so much evil into our lives that early morning. And I'll never forget. I called you like 50 times and you wouldn't answer me. And I called her too when you took her phone. You drugged my baby and you gave her no way to seek help. You left me no way to contact her or even know where she was. I get physically sick now whenever I'm away from my daughter because of you. Something as simple as her going to school, I'm in panic mode because I'm scared when she comes back, she's going to be hurt all over again. I constantly have flashbacks of that night. And what she lives with is just, it's not okay. She feels uncomfortable around people and will live with this forever and this is not fair to her. She never deserved this. Shame on you for forcing evil on our youth. And you know, for a year, I questioned, how could you even do this to us? Her and I did nothing wrong to you. We trusted you. I moved across the country because I believed everything that you told me. But it was pure manipulation I see now. All you do is specialize in selling false dreams. How could you do this to an innocent child and mother who simply trusted you? We did nothing wrong. But you know what? I'm done breaking my head trying to question or figure out how you could do such a thing. It's so simple to me now. You're just a sick man. A man who have, you can have a plethora of women, but you secretly prefer to have a child. And it's so clear now. I will never be able to fully trust another person doing the betrayal that you've shown me. And for that, I was not willing to trust six strangers and go to trial. Nor was I going to put my daughter through an additional trauma. This plea was in our best interest. You and I both know the evidence is extremely substantial. But even with that, I refuse to have my child be tormented when she's done nothing wrong. All she holds is the truth. And I will say this. Although you were so worried about being labeled a sex offender, you did us a huge favor by admitting to guilt, period. So for that, I thank you. I truly thank you. Yes, mitigation took place and I allowed it as long as it meant you going to prison and you getting true help. Because true help means no more victims. The fact that your only non-negotiable was to accept the sex crime shows exactly the type of man that you are. You know what you did in that hotel room. I know what you did, and my daughter knows what you did. DNA doesn't lie. There's no reason why your DNA should have been found on my baby. And yes, I satisfied your bogus request to not be labeled a sex offender, but it doesn't take away from who you truly are. I wasn't going to waste any time going back and forth with you over a label. God will judge you for exactly the person he knows you to be. A sexual predator. So rest assured, jail time equals jail time. And I pray that during your 10 years of sex offender probation, you actually receive the treatment that you need and it helps heal your sick mind and get the thoughts of being with children out of it. All you care about is your pretend image. But I know exactly who you are now. You want to be this public figure, but you want to do all your evil acts in secret. You're so self-centered. That's why the last time I saw you on February 27, 2021, you fought me. You tried to hold me hostage from taking my daughter to the hospital. I'll never forget that cowardly look in your eyes. I'll never forget it. You were so scared. You were so scared because you realized you messed with the wrong one. Your last words to me 
You held me and said, please don't go. You're going to ruin my career. Well, today, September 6th, 2023, my last words to you are, I hope the next 17 years of your life, you're reminded of the disgusting, terrifying, unforgettable act that you've done to my innocent daughter. Shame on you. And although you've caused a tremendous amount of trauma for myself and my daughter, we will and will always, will always be superior of you because a successful, honest career is something that you could never, ever have. We will both continue to stand, stand against violence. My daughter will continue to persevere and, and be bright and intelligent and courageous young woman that she is. So Michael Nowak, I hope you enjoy prison and God bless you. Great, thank you, ma'am. Um, thank you for your courage for speaking. It, it is heartbreaking and my heart goes out to you. What a powerful statement. Um, that was so difficult to listen to, but I'm so happy that the mother finally was able to finally have her day in court, speak her mind, be heard. Um, I honestly don't think that Polite felt any way. He didn't care. People like him are soulless. They don't have any sort of empathy or thoughts for anyone. I actually had a clip that I was going to show you guys before I go. But I can't find it right now. I screen recorded a post Brother Polite did several months ago on Instagram. He came across a car accident. This man had the nerve to record the car accident and then look down at his shoes to show what he had on his feet. And he looks back up at the victims and asks, are you okay? You cannot be human. You cannot. And I'm just going to show you an example of that while he's celebrating his so-called not guilty charges are dropped, uh, whatever party he had. You can see him look down at his shoes. He has a habit of doing that. But to do that while there are, are people that could possibly be injured or even dead from this car accident. Like, I cannot believe my, you know what? I'm going to look for it just to show you guys. So anyways, um, I'm going to leave you off with his pathetic music video. Just listen to the words. And um, that is the point of my post. It's not to, to you know, advertise him and his terrible music. Um, it's basically to show you the delusions, the delusions of this demon. And I am planning to do a live with my sister, Drea. Uh, I would love for you guys to call in, leave your thoughts and opinions. Right now, there are a lot of people that are posting about these charges and it's just oversaturated. So I would like people to have enough time to let it sit, think about it, do some more research. And we could come back and have this chat like the good old days. Um, years ago, I would never think. I would be here to witness this. Um, is justice, is it enough? I don't think so, but justice was served. It sure was. And I pray for that young lady. I pray that the damage that was done to her isn't long lasting. I pray that therapy can help her to forget what she experienced. And I pray for the mother, for her healing. This will be the last time you'll be seeing any ass or touching any for the next seven years. And if anything, hopefully you get touched while you're locked down so you can see what it feels like to be violated. Hopefully somebody makes you get on your knees and makes you reenact what you had that 14 year old girl do to you. Hopefully you end up having to go to the hospital. Hopefully your daughters never come across a pedophile like you. Hopefully your daughters never experience what that poor 14 year old girl did. Hopefully your wives wake the fuck up while you're gone. Y'all, I just had to share this with you. Um, 
my thoughts and opinions. I will catch you on the next video and hopefully it will be a live where we discuss what we discuss. But um, no further ado, this is this stupid ass music video that this guy left us with. Yo, did I mention I'm from Brooklyn? If you fuck with me, fuck with me. Don't fuck with me, fam. They wish I was guilty, fuck if they feel me I ain't going tit for tat Ain't poor but I'm filthy, I just made a million I ain't trading this for that Her skin so silky, I kept it 250 Might get a kiss for that She tried to milk me, I told her forgive me You know you got tits for that? I'm really on it, flaunting too much upon it Clear, ride the ghost I'm hunting, I'm telling you want it Scare, my money was done and I got it, you want it Here, hundred after hundred, I keep it a hundred Yeah, did all I did and I'm finna finish Impeccable, they live it, I get it and I get it Respect, don't forget it, I'm with it, I spit it Electrical, I live it so vivid, I did it A spectacle, with no tin and I'm in it, I'm in it So flexible, I hit it, I hit it and I hit it, I bet you bro I split it, skin it and get rid of it She, she, she gonna go nuts if you fuck with me, fuck with don't me. fuck with me, fam. Don't bug me, don't bug me, don't bug me. Damn, they love me, they love me, they love me, fam. I get money, I get money, I get money, man. man. If I write it, they bite it publicly Can't fight it, I might hit you bugging me If you like it, I love it, it's lovely Get brains on I'm psychic, she ugly You know I'm not down with the chit-chatter You niggas act funny, won't get laughter Pox skinny pounds, get fatter You niggas clowns, got the it factor If you spend what I spend, your account's gone Just made 40 racks, the amount's gone On a watch, so many rocks, it's a mount on Drip, can I stop, it's a fountain Got a baddie to pounce on Got me aggy for clouds, got an addy, then bounce on I brag and be funny, lost this account They mad at me money, only thing that I count if on If you fuck with me, fuck with don't me, don't fuck with me, fam Don't bug me, don't bug me, don't bug me, damn They love me, they love me, they love me, fam I get money, I get money, I get money, man Get money, get money, get money, get money If you fuck with me, fuck with me, don't fuck with me, fam Don't bug me, don't bug me, don't bug me, damn They love me, they love me, they love me, fam I get money, I get money, I get money, man